Hi everyone, it's Wesley here, back with another video, and today's video is more of like a continuation from the previous video, but I'm just trying to answer some specific questions that other people asked in the previous video. Simply, I'm talking about my journey in terms of like how I got the job, like the job application phase, and then I'm talking about the job interview process, or how I prepared for the interviews, and then when I got the offer, and then if you're finding this information very helpful, I'd like you to subscribe and please hit the notification bell so that you shouldn't miss any video that I put out. I'll be sharing more of this information. And also, if you have any other question that you'd want me to answer to do with either getting a job here in the UK, uh, even uh, scholarships, uh, somehow help people on scholarship essays and things like those. And yeah, even like doing your master's here in the UK, uh, I'm, I'm there to help. And this video, guys, I should also say, is not sponsored by any of the links that I'll share because I'll share like some of the uh, link so you can be able to get jobs so none of them are sponsoring but this is just me uh, sharing based off the research that i've done or how i got the job so let's start as you know i said i applied for the job in december 2022 and this is how i found out about the job that i applied for so i remember it was in november i was like i really want to check for jobs in the uk like how can i get a job in the uk so for you guys to understand I'm in procurement, I'm in logistics, supply chain operations. So I got a job in my field uh, in procurement as well. In November, I went on Google. I simply Googled procurement jobs in the UK. And as you know, Google has a lot of results. It brought a lot of things, it brought, brought a lot of things. So I was clicking like, oh, let me see this job. or oh, let me see this job. And it had a lot. I remember this one maybe like was what, like the fifth one or something. And then I don't know, I would say maybe god just made me google at the right time because that's when i found this job so i googled procurement jobs in the uk and then i was looking at the jobs and this one came as well and i clicked it and then i opened it i was like oh i might as well try and then i did what i said in the previous video i wrote an email to the hiring manager so i got many questions from the previous video to say like what portal did you use or what link did you use but simply i went on google and googled procurement jobs in the uk and this one came as well so that's how i got to know about this job and that's how i applied for this job so in the description below i'll share like some of the links that you guys can use to apply for jobs in the uk and they show that this this job is sponsored or it's not sponsored just a disclaimer here i'm not sponsored by any of these websites or any of them it's just me based off my research that i'm sharing this so let me talk about the job application itself so i went online i registered and then i remember it took me like a few days before i applied so they had questions that they asked on online to say okay why would you want to work for us um, you know like those type of questions and i think there were three questions that i had to answer like three s's uh, why do you want to work for us or how do you think you align uh, with our values as an organization so those were the questions that i had to answer as part of the job application itself and then after that i had to apply my cv and yeah if you guys want to see my cv i can share it or what Nah, you guys should inbox me for you guys to see my CV. But anyway, yeah. So, um, uh, so I, I uploaded my CV. And then, as I said, within two or three days is when I got a response back to say we're calling you for the interviews. Now, I'll talk about the interview process itself, but I also want to talk about how I prepared for the interviews. So, lucky for me, this is what happened. So, I got the communication about the interviews on 12th December, but then I was being called for interviews that would happen in Jan uh, on, on 11th. So it's like I had a whole month for me to prepare. So I didn't start preparing up until in the 20s or something like that. I was, you know, that thing of like, oh, I'll prepare when I'm about to. So this is what I did. Or this is what I always advise people who are preparing for interviews. And I will take you through like what I did exactly. So the first thing that I did was I went back online. I checked the answers and I had to go through like whatever I was saying. So I had to read them again. The second thing that I did was I went back to my CV. Now, this is like a span of like all the times that I was getting prepared. It wasn't like in one day. It, it happened in many, many days. So I went back to my CV. I read my CV here and there, here and there, like just for me to understand what I wrote in my CV. And then this is also what I did. I downloaded the job uh, description. I went through each and everything, like back to back, like from like everything. I read everything on the job description. Then after that, I read more about the organization, just to understand their current position, where they're coming from, and their future aspirations. Lucky enough, I think there was something to do with their strategic uh, move as an organization. So I also picked that up because I knew that I would be able to ask them uh, during the interviews. So that's really like my uh, interview preparation. I went through my CV. I went through the job description. I went through the organization, past, present, and future aspirations. 
and um, yeah, pretty much. And then also, this is what I did. I also practiced some of the basic uh, interview questions that you somehow get. You, you know, like there are some other questions that, you know, like they'll ask these questions like, oh, why did you apply for this job? Or tell us about yourself. So I also had to practice those questions. And yeah, like enough, some of the questions came. So it's like I already have, I already had like an idea of how to be able to answer them. So let's come to the interview itself. The interview was online, it was on Teams. So uh, on the other side, there were three, uh, like the interviewing panel, uh, there were three people. And on my side, just me alone. As, uh, yeah, that's it. So in the communication about the interviews, we were told you should prepare a presentation about a b c d things to do with the uh, things to do with procurement as well as the role itself so i prepared my presentation and i went through it like right before uh, the interviews like multiple times just for me to know what i'll be presenting because this is what happened you were told to like when you get on the interview you'll be given 10 minutes for you to present so this is what i did i presented within nine minutes i just made sure that i was within the time because you know sometimes that can be like maybe trying to see your time management skills so i was like okay I'll try to present within like nine minutes. So I presented within nine minutes, 30 seconds, if I remember well, around that time, but anyway. So that's what I did. Then after that is when they started asking me questions based on what I presented. So they were asking me questions. Oh, you said this in your presentation, explain a little more. Or you said this in your presentation, like what do you mean on, uh, when you say this? So it was really like something that I already knew. So I was just simply, answer, uh, so I was simply answering things that I already knew that I'd written. So that was the first part of the interview. The second part of the interview was them now asking me questions like, okay, so tell us why you have applied for this role and tell us why uh, you think you match in this. Uh, you, tell us why you think you, you fit this position. So those questions, I think I'll answer them in, in another video, like explaining how I was answering. Because, you know, like many people that are watching, they're not in procurement or some of you guys are not in procurement. So I don't think it will make sense for me in this video to say this is how I answer. But then I'll do another video in the future just to talk about how can you answer such questions uh be it a local organization an international organization i'll just i'll do another video so after that it's now my turn to ask them questions i prepared four questions if not three questions just to uh, understand like about the organization as well so i uh, if i've watched like a previous video that i did about uh uh, how to prepare for interviews i said like one of the things that you have to do is you have to ask them questions but you shouldn't ask them like the basic questions that everyone asks you should somehow ask them you should really ask them questions that show that you're different than other candidates because you can ask the basic questions like oh so when will the results be out i mean many people ask the very same question so you just have to see like the questions that you ask you can ask them to say oh i saw on your website you recently launched a project abcd how did it go or what are the plans for that project it somehow shows that you're really uh, invested into what they're doing as an organization so my turn was for me to ask them questions and then i did uh after that i mean i was like okay we're done and then within two days i got another email to say we're now calling you for another interview so the next interview was scheduled like in 10 days and they told me like, okay, this this interview, we just want to understand uh, your understanding about the organization. So I, I had an idea of what I should prepare for. So I really had to go back and then study again what the organization is doing, what they've been doing, and anything else to do with the organization. The recent news, I went on their online uh, platforms, I went on Twitter, I went on Facebook, just to see what they've been posting, just for me to have an, uh, an understanding. And then we did the interviews like two weeks later. And uh, that the, that interview was really them just trying to understand um how i understand the organization to be honest and then yeah that, that that's what happened and then finally within two days after the second interview is when i got the offer letter that okay you're the successful candidate i've given you a visa for five years so yeah uh, that's it uh, that's how i found out about the job how i applied for the job and uh, how i prepared for the interviews the interview itself finally and how i got the job offer uh, so that's it uh, I hope this helps and I hope this answers some of the questions that you guys had. And as I said, I'll put links of websites that you guys can be able to look for jobs here in the UK that sponsor visas. So what you can do is you go online and then you can just simply check visa sponsorship. Like you can search, there's a certain search bar, like for example, on Indeed, and you can just search visa sponsorship and then you'll be able to see that. So pretty much that's it, guys. I hope I'll see you again in the next video and I hope this answers some of the questions that you guys had.